Hello and welcome back, all my beautiful friends out there, you gorgeous beings of light, just shining in beauty all the time. We are here studying the lessons of A Course in Miracles, and today we're on lesson 281, I Can Be Hurt by Nothing But My Thoughts. And before we get into that lesson, we have another special bonus teaching from Jesus, and it's titled, What is the Holy Spirit? I love these extra teachings. They always lend so much to my practice and help me better understand what the Course is trying to teach me. So another person who I love so much is Ken Wapnick. He created this manual with his commentary for each and every lesson of the workbook, including these special teachings. And I wanted to read his intro to the What is the Holy Spirit teaching. When we discuss the metaphysical level of A Course in Miracles, we do not usually include the Holy Spirit, as his function relates only to our experience within the dream where he is needed. Since the Holy Spirit is the correction for the ego, his function is unknown in heaven. However, being the memory of God's love that we took with us when we fell asleep, his presence expresses the atonement that says the separation from God was an illusion. Throughout this summary, we are reminded that our daily function is to look at our illusions with his love bringing them to its healing presence. Thus are they undone, for light automatically dispels the darkness. This summary, therefore, allows us to speak again about the practical applications of A Course in Miracles and the Holy Spirit's role in our healing. Such a reality check. I love that. We, we're in a place right now in our incarnation, in our practice, where... Um, we're, I think we're distinguishing between what is real, what isn't real, what benefit does it serve, and have I been either fooled or lied to about what its purpose is and all of that. So as you go through listening here to this teaching, imagine those things in yourself. Um, and, and then notice that, it's funny, it fell right then. And notice that what we're doing is coming together to take advantage of these beautiful ideas like the idea of a Holy Spirit, like the idea of a forgiveness practice, and knowing that all we really need them for is while we are here having this incarnation experience. And so, I don't know, that helps me a lot when I think of it that way. So let's get into this reading. What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit mediates between illusions and the truth. Since he must bridge the gap between reality and dreams, perception leads to knowledge through the grace that God has given him, to be his gift to everyone who turns to him for truth. Across the bridge that he provides are dreams all carried to the truth, to be dispelled before the light of knowledge. There are sights and sounds forever laid aside, and where they were perceived before, forgiveness has made possible perception's tranquil mind. So I think what Jesus means here, there are sights and sounds forever laid aside. It's all the body's senses, the things that we use in this incarnation, in this illusory earth, to make sense of the world around us and involve ourselves in all these different separation activities. So. Eventually, all those senses and all that information will be forever laid aside. The goal the Holy Spirit's teaching sets is just this end of dreams. For sights and sounds must be translated from the witnesses of fear to those of love. And when this is entirely accomplished, learning has achieved the only goal it has in truth. For learning, as the Holy Spirit guides it to the outcome he perceives for it, becomes the means to go beyond itself and to be replaced by eternal truth. If you but knew how much your father yearns to have you recognize your sinlessness, you would not let his voice appeal in vain, nor turn away from his replacement for the fearful images and dreams you made. The Holy Spirit understands the means you made by which you would attain what is forever unattainable. And if you offer them to him, he will employ the means you made for exile to restore your mind to where it truly is at home. From knowledge, where he has been placed by God, 
the Holy Spirit calls to you to let forgiveness rest upon your dreams and be restored to sanity and peace of mind. Without forgiveness, will your dreams remain to terrify you? And the memory of all your father's love will not return to signify the end of dreams has come. Accept your father's gift. It is a call from love to love, that it be but itself. The Holy Spirit is his gift by which the quietness of heaven is restored to God's beloved son. Would you refuse to take the function of completing God when all he wills is that you be complete? I love it when he asks a question. Would you refuse to take the function of completing God when all he wills is that you be complete? Well, no, I don't want to do that. All right, so let's get into the lesson. Lesson number 281. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. Father, your son is perfect. When I think that I am hurt in any way, it is because I have forgotten who I am and that I am as you created me. Your thoughts can only bring me happiness. If ever I am sad or hurt or ill, I have forgotten what you think and put my little meaningless ideas in place of where your thoughts belong and where they are. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. The thoughts I think with you can only bless. The thoughts I think with you alone are true. I will not hurt myself today, for I am far beyond all pain. My father placed me safe in heaven, watching over me, and I would not attack the son he loves, for what he loves is also mine to love. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. Yeah, that is, that is going to be a tough pill to swallow, pun intended, for people who really are living with pain every day. Um, or personal note, I have menstrual cramps once a month and those are times the only times where I really go into my practice and I ask what is this teaching me what is this saying because I know it's not the form it has nothing to do with my body or my monthly cycle or any of that but my ego really wants me to believe that there's a medical condition or I just need to search for the right diet or the right supplement or the right you know fill in the blank when in reality there's some place in my mind that is using this expectation that every month, I don't know what's going to happen as if I give up control of, you know, my, my peace. So, um, this, this is definitely a, a lesson that could be received in different ways, but it, I believe it's truth. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. And I think our thoughts are what cause us to have mental and physical sickness and disease in our bodies and healing our minds, remembering God's love, returning to that place of peace, even if it's only temporarily, that's the only true medicine that there is. And oh, by the way, if there's something out there that you can take or do to get you out of a space of like literally being in pain, then by all means do it. I don't think that we should refuse ourselves something that can soothe our bodies as we're trying to figure out our minds so long as we don't forget that the mind is where the problem is not the body and that we're the ones that are manufacturing the thoughts that are hurting us so i think taking that level of responsibility soothing your symptoms if you need to doing those things together is a huge act of self-love so love yourself today enjoy your lesson enjoy that extra teaching see what you think about the definition of the holy spirit and how it's only a, an idea that we need while we're here on earth to support us and help us see ourselves. Yeah, take that with you today. Have an awesome day and I'll see you back here again on the next video.